Okay, we're back on the motor today. So we're gonna put the cam cover and everything in here, get all the gears in here and all that. The first thing we we'll start is we're gonna put the uh, pinion gear set up on here, and then we can see if the uh, oil pump fits in there and the cam fit. So first thing you do is put this on. I think it matters on this one. Yep, flat on both sides. So that means it just sits flat on the shaft. There's no timing involved. And the splines are all the same. So you can put them on any way you want. But the cam gear does matter. So you have a mark right there. That goes up. Should be a corresponding mark right there. It also goes up. Oop, right there. Bad design. It can be put on wrong. I have done that. So it's really bad. When you put the lock tab on there, it covers up the mark. So you have no idea where it's at. Another brilliant idea. So if you do it like that, at least you can kind of see the mark there a little bit. Alright, so. Lock that on that. Red. Uh, Loctite don't come out, it's plugged. Paper clip. Best anti plug going. Works every time. Quick and easy. And easy, they don't steal those. So they're always where you leave them. Don't need much on there, just a little bit. Okay, we got our little nut. Thin nut, standard thread, and that backwards crop. Screws right on. Make sure the lock tab is engaged correctly. That's why you don't just zing it on there. You just hit it with a hammer and knock this down, you might knock it out true. So, use a pair of channel locks and pliers. Whatever you got laying around. I don't have either. Yeah, I think I do. You got this nice small set hanging on the roof. Ceiling up here, these up. These ought to be big enough. It was big enough. Now the lock tab on here, you don't really need a lock tab. But it's on there. Perfect size, worked great. There, I used those this year. So you normally just hang up on the wall right there, never get used. But you never know when you need them. We're gonna make sure this goes in there. Oil pump supposedly has been all cleaned up and good to go. We'll see. Uh, it takes 10 horsepower to turn it. It's a lot of, a lot of drag. Feels a little dry. Maybe it's dry. All right. We also need to check our uh, cam gear fitment. So once again, we're gonna throw all the cams in here real quick. And make sure there's no drag issues with all this assembled in here. It shouldn't matter, but there's a lot of things that shouldn't matter that do. Okay, this is our number three because it has two timing marks on it. 
This would be number one because there's only one tiny mark on it. Shims are all like they should be unless something got mixed up. So now I think we're going to double check before we snot it all up and make it for real. Okay, here's our 5,000 shim. We'll lay it down there for now. These will be coming out one more time, even if everything works. Okay, that one's lined up. We've got this one here. Now we have all three marks we have to deal with. So you get all the marks lined up first. So usually I try to engage this one first, then this one, and then this one. Now the, you have to get all this washer down there to line up. It's just going to wiggle around a little bit. Hopefully it'll drop all in there like that. So you get a mark, a mark, a mark, and a mark. So we're good. Where'd our idler gear go? buried over there in the corner already. Oh, and that one's in. Okay. I'll put a cam cover on here now. See how it fits. Gasket. Make sure you grab the correct one. Cover. That cover is missing. Oh, here it is, hidden. Uh oh. He's gonna be mad. Scratches. That happened was on the side of the bench over here. I was working on fixing the bushing in there. He's not gonna be happy. Everything's dry. We have not put any lubricant on anything yet. Yeah, it turns. Now waiting till acceptable drag for not acceptable drag. If the flywheels return it, it's acceptable drag. If the flywheels will not return, it's getting a little heavy. If you can barely move it, it's way too much. So that's what we're looking to see right there. Looks nice and free. Okay, that's good. Now we're gonna put the oil pump up in there and see if it has any other issues. So. so we get 
these nuts off down here. These nuts are only for sub-assembly, not for assembling the bike. Just keep the oil pump all in one spot. Don't get used no more. Oil pump gasket. Should be one out already. Let's see. There it is. An oil pump gasket. It's too close. So it matters which way this goes on. Best way to tell is to get your pump out and lay it up on there. See how the bolt holes do not line up? That's not correct. Flip it over. Bolt holes line up. And this goes all the way around here, so that's good too. So now we assemble this up on the motor and see what happens. Be a minute. Rotates. Okay. Now it rotates relatively freely. We have drag now, so you know it doesn't want to come back. It comes back until the oil pump engages. That's the free play in the gears. Which is what you're going to get with the oil pump in the system. All right, that's good to go. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, everything checked out, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, button this thing up for real. So I'm gonna take this apart, lubricate all the stuff, and put it back together. This time we're gonna glue it in. No more back and forth. So, all right. So I just take it, put a little lube on the cam lobe and lubricate the teeth like this. A little bit on the bearing hole right here. A little bit in the washer area there. It's lubed up. Make sure you got a good layer of lube and it'll spread around. A little self lube. This one here got more teeth on this one. And a big one. Okay. 
And we got this one. Where's some gooey? Okay, so there's your marks right there. Right there. There. And this one here, you can't see it, but it's right there. Get the lube out of the way, you can see it. Okay. This little 5 thou thrust wash I'm going to put over here on this side here. It's so thin it'll get eaten up on the other side. All right, so I'm gonna gotta lubricate all these parts up up on top and put the armor in it. And don't forget to oil pump drive here below. A little oil down there. Whatever we can get to anyway. Okay, that's pretty well lubed up. A little bit right there where I don't want it. Alright. Get a seal for the cam cover. This is going to go inside of here. Assuming I get the right one, obviously. Okay, so that's got to be pressed in with the press. So that's not too hard to do. Alright, so I'm going to go press that in and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I got the seal on the cam cover. I lubed up all the bushings right now, so now we're going to go ahead and goop it up with some goo. That'd be our gasket cinch. You just put a light layer on both surfaces. And we goop up the gasket also. Same thing.
Okay. Let's take the gasket, put it on the case. Give it any spider webs around there. Take this and lay it on there. And button it up. Work it on now. Can't see much from way over there. So we got my torque wrench right now, which is whatever my arm will put out. Okay, now you go ahead and put the real squeeze to it. Good and tight. Should be good. <clears throat> and I get the oil pump onto there. So the first thing I do is take it apart real quick and see what's going on with it. Make sure it's all put together correctly because I don't know. Because I didn't look at it. Okay, looks like there's some real light oil in there. Now this <clears throat> this o-ring here you got to make sure is above the surface because they sell some of these o-rings that are not full size so they're below the surface they leak like a sieve so this one is above the surface like you want it to be looks like it's got all the oil in there like it's supposed to be it's a jaw rotor so that's how it works It's supposed to go up and down when you push on it. It's not going up and down. There's a pin right here someplace it's supposed to go. There it is. Now it goes up and down like it's supposed to. Just make sure you got the gear on the keyway here. So it goes up and down now like it's supposed to. So you put the jaw rotor in here. Make sure this O-ring's above the surface. Very 
very much. It's barely, but it's above it. Okay. The bushing looks a little dry, so I'll put a little, a little more assembly lube on here. I'm also going to put my assembly oil in here instead of the regular stuff. A little thicker. Okay, now this goes on, you got to rotate it until it lines up correctly. And it just popped on there, that's how it's supposed to go. Okay, now it goes together good. Okay, so that all looks like it's pretty good. So I got to goop up our gasket here, seal it up. I'll make a lap around the case. Then a lap on the gasket over here. And some right there. Flip it over to the other side. I do not put on the oil pump. I don't want to goop in the oil pump, so I don't put extra on here. Okay, that surface is wrong, so go this direction. There you go, lines up. Should be good. A little bit of oil in the teeth here. It'll be a while before you get any lube on them, so we'll lube them now. Okay, now we just go ahead and poke it inside the uh, gear case under here. Good to go. Bolt will not start. That means the gasket's in the wrong spot. And it is. Yep. Adjust it down to get the holes to line up. It's in the wrong spot. Since it touches, it sticks and doesn't go in the right spot. It don't go in. Goes. When it centers up, it lines up better. It goes easier. Kind of center between the bolts and tighten it up. I'm going to go ahead and torque it too. A 
extension to get out there away from it and actually tighten it. Cross pattern. And torque the piss out of it. There we go. And that oil pumps all up in there like it belongs. This is your feed line. This is where the oil center goes. This is your return line. Everything else is internal in the motor. Make sure the pump's up against the case. If it's going in sideways, it would be a problem, obviously. Okay, let's see what we got now. Motor's getting heavier. Hard to believe, right? Okay, if it doesn't rotate, there's a big problem. It appears to be rotating. Make sure it goes both directions. Go at least two full turns to make everything turn once. Okay. So that's good for now. Get that off to the side. We'll kind of lifters next. Alright, I'll be back.